What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 54 and today's topic will be how to generate nested forms in pdf file so you have already seen how to create forms uh, how to create frames and after that in the last tutorial which was tutorial 53 in that tutorial we have already discussed uh, on uh, how to create multiple frames inside a single page or the same page and now in this topic we'll be going to talk about how to create nested frames so when i when i says nested frames so how it look like so this is a frame with the outer frame and inside a frame there is another frame inner frame so how to create uh, such structure why this is important and again when you are going to talk about or when you are going to uh, uh, develop some uh, real world application and where the requirement is to create some nice looking dashboards or reports or forms and the basic building blocks uh, of that form will be definitely frames or that frame will not be the simple one uh, multiple uh, uh, nested frames will be there so you want to uh, you want to if you want to create those structure you need to understand this uh, hierarchical uh, like concept again when i'm say hierarchy this is not like uh, the some strict rules are there to maintain this is just a concept but again this is very simple you have to understand the logic that's it okay so let me open my id okay so this is something which was a part of last tutorial but uh, let me delete this so uh, this is going to be tutorial 54 okay and this topic will be going to talk about how to generate nested frames in pdf okay so first thing first from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas okay so next thing will be from report lab dot platypus import frame and last one will be from report lab dot uh, leap dot styles import get sample style sheet so first thing uh, i think we should there is some error in this in clean this thing okay fine so first we'll create one pdf file object so let create that object so it will be canvas dot canvas so the pdf name will be always the tutorial name so tutorial 54 dot pdf okay so we'll create one blank flowable object like list okay so what i'll do now create some text one this is going to be uh, so we need to import this paragraph as well so paragraph so this is going to be paragraph inside that we'll put this uh, inner frame and we'll use style and for the style what is going to happen style equals to get sample style sheet and so it will be like styles so if you are not familiar with this things guys highly recommend you to watch my earlier tutorial because most of you are my regular subscriber so they all know it right if you are having difficulties to understand this please feel free to reach me out but please try to follow all the earlier tutorial i have explained each and everything in that tutorial okay so this is going to be very advanced thing as i told you so we are going to deal with some real world use cases so i will highly recommend you guys to try to do some sort of practice watch out our earlier tutorials and after that you can watch or start watching this advanced tutorials okay so flow underscore obj dot append and it will be the text one okay so now we'll create a frame so frame is going to be frame so let's see it will start from 50 uh, from this side it will be 150 then it will be 300 and they are 400 and show boundary 
is one okay then it will be frame dot add from list so it will be flowable object first and in canvas we'll use this pdf object canvas object okay and after that that pdf step so what will happen now it will create a pdf file with the name of tutorial 54.pdf and inside that there will be a frame in this location in that frame inner uh, frame will be written so let's run this thing it's completed so if i refresh this thing okay okay so inner frame we got this thing okay so what i'll do uh, i think i will mm, okay so what i'll do i'll just make it a bit uh, upward so it will be easier to understand okay so let's make it 250 okay so what i'll do let's make it 250 okay it's fine okay 250 is fine and let's make it 200 okay fine so this is the inner frame so i am to create outside another frame so that will be our outside frame so what will happen now so what i'll do let's create another section for outside frame give it a name of text 2 and give it like outer frame text 2 and let it start from 10 and it should start from 150 it should go until 400 and also 400 let's see first so there will be two frames now one will be outer frame and one will be inner frame so okay so in some cases it is actually intersecting so what i'll do now uh, i will reduce this height okay okay see this is outer frame this is inner frame so this is very simple guys there is nothing uh, uh, there is no rocket science behind this so you have to only uh, understand the dimension of your uh, like elements that's it it's the it's actually playing playing around the dimension and if you know how to create frames you can do it you can create actually multiple frames so for example so if you want to create one frame inside here you can do it as well so what i'll do now so you want to create let's say another frame okay but that will be inside this frame so what is going to happen now so it starts from 50 it will go until 300 so wh what you have to do you have to do something in between this so you can start uh, from 150 okay and same thing uh, uh, you want to start from 290 but it should be only let's say 80 and 80 and this will be text 3 and um, inner most frame okay like this so let's run this thing first see this is inner frame inner frame and outer frame but here is i did some mistake so it will be text 3 okay see this is outer frame inner frame and inner most frame so this is very simple guys you have to understand the dimension of your element that's it you are good to go and uh, one thing is important so i am writing this piece of code again and again again and again so rather you can create a sim simple function and here only thing uh, is varies this text and this dimension you, so you can take a list of one list uh, where you can pass this elements and you can create one simple string variable there you can pass this thing so using one uh, simple function you can do it so that will actually reduce this thing just because i am my 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 uh, uh, objective is not to give you the actual uh, like um, flow or actual the programming paradigm so i am just not following all those things you guys definitely should follow those things while you are going to work on the actual project or real world scenario this is not the right way of doing coding because i am writing the same piece of code but again i told you you can use some sort of function and there you need to pass this is a string variable these are least or tuple or numpy array whatever and there all these elements will be your uh, dimension but just because my con uh, objective is to showcase you guys how to create inner frames so i'm just following the 
process of creating or procedure of creating this thing but if you are going to talk about the actual programming structure to follow all the like uh, proper foundation or proper uh, programming guidelines then you must uh, create some sort of function and you should follow the modular approach so that's it guys so what i'll do i'll just uh, 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 take a copy paste of this but i'm not sure whether this will be going to fit in our pdf but still i'll try to do this thing uh, so what i'll do let me delete this thing okay code okay and what i'll do i'll just insert the code picture from file that's it we don't need any design ideas okay okay so code is let me write code is in the next slide okay so that's it guys i hope you guys uh, enjoying this series and as you requested this tutorial i just created this thing but uh, probably from the next tutorial onward we'll try to start our actual objective which is uh, playing around some uh, actual uh, real world application or actual real world use cases so as i told you if you have any nice looking structure or if you are working on some project where you want to develop some custom file structure or reporting structure or if you have some template please feel free to share with me i'll try to include those things in our use case or applications uh, development path as well but if i'm not getting any uh, sample use cases then i will uh, go through uh, from my own repository and i'll take uh, examples uh, from there and i will explain this thing okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button and also hit the bell icon so you should not miss any notification from the next time onward and if you feel that our video is going to hang some of your friends and family member please feel free to share our videos with them as well we all always want to reach broader or larger audience and thank you very much for all the udemy students thanks for purchasing this course it's actually helping me a lot motivating me a lot every day uh, like inspiring me to create more and more quality contents and if you have any clarification doubt and difficulties to understand please reach me out over udemy chat box i'll always available there we'll try to answer your question as much as possible within the given timeline but still if there is any delay i'm very sorry for that uh, but we'll try to answer all your questions so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day happy learning